dear friends good evening as i promised in the last class i have come up with a certain expressions that uh, should arouse your interest okay now look at the first one see there are in fact this is what you call a rhyming or reduplication for the distorted and not useful to you there are plenty there are plenty but i have taken into account only a few which are in use uh, these days which are used in our everyday language but other expressions are obsolete not in use maybe in the past it would have been these certain expressions which i have not used to hear mentioned here on the board uh, might have been used but these days uh, they have been forgotten helter skelter who does not know the meaning of this expression everybody knows when there was a bomb blast people started running helter skelter in all directions trying to escape and there was a bomb blast people started running helter skelter sorry helter skelter the same meaning rubo to either and the other the same meaning look at the next one willy nilly whether you like it or not i have got to take you to a place it is important whether you like it or not willy nilly you will have to come with me now two parties got dragged into a conflict willy nilly so it is easy to use willy nilly means whether you like it or not there is no option given you have got to hatch patch a mixture of many different things a mixture of many different things the essay you have written is a hatch patch of different ideas taken from different books put together it doesn't make any sense there is no logic there is no coherence just a hot spot so please don't write it this way is she was she watery the soup is which she was she lacking in principled qualities remarkable qualities it is not tasty it is diluted watery please take it away Please take it away. Topsy turvy, upside down. Dear student, you are holding the book. Topsy turvy. Please hold it properly. You are holding the book. Topsy turvy, upside down. Hanky panky, dishonest behavior. Generally, we go to man woman relationship. Last night at the party there was some hanky panky. Last night at the party there was some hanky panky going on. Dilly dally. Please hurry up. Don't waste your time. Don't dilly dally. The car is waiting outside. He is honking. Hurry up, please. Riff raff. people of a low social class generally uneducated rebellious refusing to be disciplined the kind of language they speak is of course the strict language there is no decency whatsoever he just uh, ignore him he belongs to the riff raff uh, group just avoid him avoid mingling with him it's a bit see tiny what is our friend doing these days for his livelihood nothing great he is doing it's a bit see businesses uh, it's not enough for his livelihood here and there tiny insignificant unimportant which doesn't fetch him enough money to lead his life integrity a very important expression widely used 
the most important aspect the gist of something the core of something okay friends now that the meeting has started let us get down to the nitty gritty of uh, the problem in question nitty gritty let us straight away come to the matter let us not beat about the bush easy pc very easy the device is uh, easy pc for anybody to set up you go through the manual and you can easily understand on your own and just follow the manual and uh, it becomes easy pc for you to set it up okay now there are a few more topics to be discussed as for those appearing for a competitive exams very important topics for the time being let me keep them on hold for the time being let me keep them on hold i should take into account even the interest of uh, the beginners also so lots of teachers on youtube or, or might be teaching or might have already taught yes the basic tenses basic grammar basic grammar that i will be for, briefly touching upon in the next class okay but what i am going to do is i am going to do some conversation practice it is slightly different from what other people have done or doing in a particular situation what are right words you can use and what are possible questions you can ask right words and right questions at a doctor's clinic while talking to a stranger while in the kitchen while talking to a guest who has come to your house after a very long time while in the class at the fish market you can use uh, uh, certain expressions in all the places depending upon the context depending upon the situation you may have to use uh, different different words different different vocabulary and different questions this is what we are going to discuss in the next class i am sure you will find this useful and i am going to explain i am going to teach you english through tamil should be extremely useful to the tamil speaking beginners and i also yes vouch for the fact that it will be useful to the non tamil speaking learners please everybody listen to the lecture you will find it extremely useful extremely useful not that i am betraying the interests of uh, non tamil speaking learners no they will also understand better okay it will be useful for both the groups it will be useful for both the groups okay let me wind up thank you so much uh, kindly subscribe and in the next class you will see uh, much more interesting things uh, coming up